today in uh, King David Studios, I'm hanging out with who in, who in my world is, uh, I, I call them legends, all of them. And I think this is the boss of the legends. <laughs> this is the founder that, that has made uh, all these guys legends. And, and today we're very lucky uh, to hang out. And a part of me is nervous. I don't know why. It's so not like me. <laughs> I've spoken in front of presidents. This shouldn't be difficult. Um, but I'm, I'm hanging out with Tate um, Kuskadeve. How are you, sir? I'm good, Davis. Thank you very much for the invitation to your studios. You made it. Eh? You know, it's one of those, you make the call and you wonder if the, the answer on the other end will be a yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but it's better if you, if you try, because not unless you try, you never know what you're going to get. That is so true. Yeah, yeah. That is so true. Where are you from? My home place? Yeah. I'm born in Brayton, a, a little town outside Amelo, between Amelo and Carolina in, in Pumalanga. You are close to Joburg, so I guess it's not far. Home is not very far. No, two and a half hours drive yes. from here, I'm, I'm home. Interesting, my, my relationship with uh, uh, Emelo, I remember I had to even memorize how it's spelled with the R, Ermelo. That's uh, correct. Yes, I remember my first interview after I finished at university was it was, was in Emelo. It was an, a, 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 what's that, a municipality, administrative job. Wow. They didn't hire me. Okay. okay. <laughs> and it was a two-day interview. Wow. wow. Yeah, we had to be there at eight, first day. Uh, they interview you, then you're left with the last five, almost like idols. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the following day, you go again, uh, you are uh, interviewed again, and the one that, that got the job gets announced immediately. And you leave knowing that you got the yeah, job or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What <laughs> so a pity. My relationship, interesting, my mental memory or with the uh, MLO is exactly that experience. Okay, okay. But then uh, you win some, you lose you some. You lose some. Eh? How did you end up uh, uh, in Johannesburg? Did the family move or did you move at some point? No, it happened when I was still young. You know, um, I'm a school teacher, I'm an educator. Okay. But then I only spent two years teaching. E e teaching, exactly, yes. yeah. Because uh, Born in Brighton, um, outside Emelo, I uh, got my first teaching job in Nalsprit. Okay. Yeah, there's a school that was called um, Nkunzi Secondary School at the old location of Nalsprit, which was called Mbombela. So that's where I started teaching. Two years thereafter, just before the end of the, of the two years, SABC was looking for a broadcaster here in Johannesburg. There was a vacancy open. Reluctantly, I uh, found myself applying <laughs> for that job because of pressure from some of the guys that knew that I had some of the qualities that they were looking for, you know, in, in the specs yes. of that interview. So they were looking for a uh, an announcer, as they were called back yes, in the days. We, we, we were called announcers, announcers yes. back in the days, or presenters. What made others around you think that you had you had the, the talent to do it? Because you were merely a teacher. Yeah, no, no. But one of the qualities that they were looking for is actually a person with with a teaching qualification. Okay, okay. That's also one of the criteria. Yes, yes. Yes, and of course I had that. I had the driver's license. So yes, so you had all the that, basics, yeah. yeah. All the basics. And the, now, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and a great friend of mine, unfortunately, he just left us. Yeah. And he sold rest in peace, but uh, he actually just sat on me. At you not. I kept on saying, hey, I'm enjoying teaching, man. You know, because I was young. <laughs> yes. I was, you know, full of energy and yeah. all of that. And we could see the, 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 the students passing. And I thought I was going to make a huge you, contribution. It was, it, was, it was quite fulfilling exactly. to, to and teach. Then I'm also into sport. And I was a um, you know, soccer player. Every Wednesday would be a, a wonderful day for us. Yes, to yes. I guess teaching, nursing and all of that, there were quite a number of limited career careers that one could take. What led you to that one in particular? Teaching? Yeah. Well, it was just it was, uh, something that I had to do because of circumstances at home. Yeah. You know, because teaching, you do maybe because there's no money at home to go to university. That's true. You know, because all, the other thing to actually consider is that during the olden days, you would have a school that goes up to up to um, JC. Yes, so yes, junior standard, certificate. Exactly, yes. standard, standard from, six. From, from uh, sub A up to standard six, yes. and then from from five, from yeah. five, for what from, was <laughs> from one up to from three. Yes, that's the and one. Then you've got to look around for a school that has got from four from five, okay. which is my trick. Okay, and so that, that was, was that not was combined. Oh, all right, it wasn't combined. Okay. When we came along, I guess, which is a generation or so after yours, all of those was one thing. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So you had to look for another school, exactly, uh, which led you to to teaching. That's correct. Yeah, you know, because uh, I got into teaching. As as a, as, a, as a safeguard because my dad wasn't very well and yes. I realized that men 
things may actually go wrong. And yeah. I had some siblings that were coming after me yes. and I realized that nobody would actually be in a position to look after them uh-huh. if I don't prepare myself. So I had to do like all, the, all the sacrifice <laughs> to actually get at least something, yes. you know, a certificate that could actually sustain us. Yeah, in, as in a family. Times, exactly, yeah. in times of difficulty. Did people mm. know in your neighborhood I guess was was it a big deal like it is now to be a, a radio broadcaster No it was a big deal yeah. it was a big deal yes. yeah, because there were very few and fine between Yeah people. I felt highly honest honest yeah, yes. exactly in the sense that you know you to be given the position out of so many people if you look at how many young people were mm. there during my time and uh, they were come talent. from all over <laughs> yes. but then it means my talent got more recognized yeah. by, than theirs yes. and all yes. of that so given that opportunity it was the, the best Jeez. and the greatest of honor and also you know i know uh, having been with sabc for long I, I know for the longest time the brand value of sabc is incredible yes is it it it, it the respect that the the broadcaster gets is is amazing oh true yeah oh, true yeah adored all over you all over yes, you yes. but you must work for it that's, that's the true. difference that that's is true you yes. just don't get that recognition no, no, if no. you're not putting the effort the yourself. effort yeah and listeners can always pick up but here's a person who's more dedicated <laughs> to to knows what he he wants and yes. he has got respect for the listeners that's he has it respect for his job he has yes. respect for himself and yeah. respect for the artist yes. respect for the yes. guest that, that are in the studio him. and He's all of not that. not opinionated. Like yes. sometimes these days you find some guys that are so full of themselves. <laughs> it's themselves first. Exactly, exactly. You know. Interesting. You, you, you sound like a boss, <laughs> a, radio, a radio boss. You still have it. <laughs> I can imagine. But Tetis, you must have respect. But but that's how it should be. Yeah. That's how it should be. You know, yes. you are there not for yourself. Yes. You're, You're there, there for an audience. For the masses. Yeah. You know? So what is it that they want? You must give it to them. That what that they want. Exactly. Not what you want. No, 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 no. Including the music. Exactly. Including the music. It's yeah. not about you. It's yeah. about the people listening exactly. to you. But then with the music, you can always persuade them to fall in to line fall, with with your choice over time. Yeah, but yes. you are persuading them yes. until they <laughs> decide and say, okay. We also like that and, and because you like it exactly. And we you also justify like it. why you like it. Let's <laughs> like it too. You find you find um, people say, "Hey, my Shabel, you're the one that introduced me to this song." Correct. That's the persuasion exactly. you're talking about. Persuading. Yes. Yeah. And with time, uh, the SABC changed. I imagine with with the introduction of people like yourselves, with time and and a lot more black faces, and which is which led to to Metro. But before I get to that. Do you remember any of the names of the people that you worked with during during your early days at SABC? You mean within the uh, language station? The language, I, yes. Oh yeah, I do. I do. Yes. I, I had incredible mentors. I had yeah. incredible mentors. Yes. I would start off with uh, uh, the late Alexius Butelezi, who yeah. lived in Zone One in yes. Tukru, yes. Uh, a very very um, principled yeah. somebody yeah. who had, had so much respect and admiration and wow. all of that. He was he, he was actually one of my mentors. Yes. And there's also Elijah Teta Masombuga. Both of them have passed on. Elijah was actually the broadcast. I mean, the sports broadcaster. with <laughs> such an incredible <laughs> voice, and also did a lot of uh, you, you know youth programs yes, uh, on yes, air. And yes. on. You love to listen to him anytime. At the time, voice was a prerequisite as well. It was. Yeah. It was. It was. Because yeah. with, with time, I would like to think a lot has changed. People like me wouldn't be on radio because. There's nothing special about my voice, but I know that there was a time when uh, Abu Abu uh, Treasure Shabalala was the voice that led the men in Correct. that in that case. Um, do, do you think you fell in that category of voices? You see, voices have to uh, have to be uh, linked yeah. to a certain program genre that you're going to fit into. Yes, yes. So my kind of voice, for yeah. instance, was a very um unique voice for yes. sports broadcast live yeah. commentaries which is i think an area where i excelled a lot exactly. you're still was, able to do it <laughs> yeah no I, I, i can still do it but uh, I, we're going to try we have no no, no but I, i just felt <laughs> that over time i must just leave it to the young ah, guys <laughs> so many times they've persuaded me and said no there's a there's, there's a derby man please the come and be a to. part of it come and I said, 
Then I would say, okay, I'm going to come. But when I'm at the stadium, I just give some analysis here. Oh, and yeah, yeah. That thing. Said, but how well, about if you do the next derby? I said, yeah, and I'm, I'm going to be available. But to it, do it. It, if it's still a job that you yeah. would take up, why not, eh? No, no, no. no. But, that, but you see, but with me, there's this difference. Yeah. I always have it in myself that it's no longer my opportunity to True. do that. Uh, Even if I do it, I'll just do it for one day. Yeah, just days, for, yeah. And, and what does yes. it count? And then the next person will say, oh, I wasn't around. I was, I was at a funeral. Yeah. Can you get him again the following week? <laughs> yeah, see, so it never ends. You do it well. They never stop asking <laughs> exactly, you. Okay? Exactly. They so never stop. And in the meantime, what you don't realize is that you are doing a disservice yeah. to the current broadcasters. True. Absolutely. So time and again, they've got to be compared with you. And yet, this is the opportunity. Yes. Let them learn the skills. Let yes. them learn the art. And, and actually perfect excel, it. Yes. Perfect it and yeah. excel it. And be accepted by those, list, that by, is true. By those listeners. Yeah. Because I've had my turn. It's interesting, and I've, I've very, had my opportunity. Yes, it's very uh, uh, commendable for you to be saying that you've had your chance, and exactly. it, you know you exactly. you I enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and that was that. Exactly, I can't demand it back from the people that whose time it is now. Yes, yes, their time. One of the things that you know I I, I pride myself to have achieved is yeah. to create opportunities for the guys because yeah. they would sit. Do their three three hours. Three hours, slot. yeah. Then after that, they're just idly. Yes. Then I would actually connect with some production houses, okay. connect with advertising houses, yes. You know, and actually to try say and give jobs to these, to these guys, guys, yeah. And all of that, and um, and also television. Recommend I know a lot of them exactly. ended up on television. Exactly. Yes. Some of them doing some programs there yes. on television that actually gave them a huge opportunity. Yes. I tell you, if anyone or if any one of them tells you that he's hungry. <laughs> it's his fault. Yes, yeah, his fault. <laughs> I really and I never took any. I was almost like an, a man. I mean, an agent. Yes, to them, yes. You know, I and wanted I felt to so much joy it, to see them. That, yeah, to see them thrive to the extent that at some stage they would end up dodging around and say, hey, "I'm not going to be available to come to the slot because I'm, I'm not well and all of that." In Jeez. the meantime, he's doing. He's a going job to somewhere. do a recording. Ex no, not even. Sometimes it's it's, it's it's comparing a show. Somewhere. Oh yes, yes, okay. yes. What yes. is the function or what have you? They have to go there. Exactly. And one of them was actually embarrassed <laughs> when when he got got there, got on stage, and you were and in, the in the audience. I'm in the audience. This guy had reported that he's that is well. sick. Yeah, exactly. And in oh, the meantime, he's actually boy. trying to catch up some oh, some good bucks for himself. <laughs> All of that. Let, let, let me just, just tell you the other interesting thing. Please, very, very please, quickly. please. You have got guys that are waiting for you in the evening. Yeah. And they never expect you to come into the studio. <laughs> really? At any time of the of the night, I'll just emerge. Oh, really? Yes. So you were that kind of yes, boss? Yes, exactly. That would just rock up. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock. What, what did you find? And then I find the guy working, and then they say, I just wanted to show you yeah, that, that you've got listeners out there. Don't. One of them is me. Yeah. Exactly. Always know you're that. Not alone. Always know <laughs> that. <laughs> not that you are a Liverpool fan, but you you never <laughs> walk alone. <laughs> so you were that kind of manager. Yeah, yeah, I would do. I would. I would. But do you know? One day I actually surprised myself. Yeah. Because there was a show that I actually enjoyed on air, and then I said, "Let me go uh, pass by to the studio and just congratulate just, you know, the to guy say you're doing well. Like, do it, doing well. Yeah. And guess what happens when I get to the studio? Yeah, Utolaba. The, the guy, the guy has together has connived with his. Uh, um, yeah, technical assistant. Yes, they've connived to record the show. Oh no! Yeah. Oh I phoned, no! I phoned the technician and said, um, <laughs> "So and so there." He says, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. he's just gone out. Yeah, yeah, he's just gone into the toilet." Okay, okay. Yeah. I wanted to speak to him before. I, I, I before before we rock up, yeah. <laughs> he says, no, he's gone down to, to the toilet. Yeah. Said, oh, okay, fine. Yeah. And he continued. You decided to. You decided he didn't to know that I'm in the building. Oh. Then I went down to the to, 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 to the, to the studio. studio and I found. Nice, uh, real yeah, to real, real, real play. The whole program is being <laughs> is recorded. I said, "Oh, Muna, you told me that the guy is here. What's happening here?" <laughs> hey, man, I don't know what to say. You know, this uh, rather talk to him and all of that. You know, I was, prote I was protecting dilemma. the guy. He's putting me in this dilemma, and the next thing, this. Uh, this Do you want to tell us who it is? No, I won't. I tell can tell. I can guess. I won't tell you. I can guess. I won't tell you. It must be. It must be. Uh, nah, it can't be afternoon drive. Yeah. Uh, it can be Tim Modisi because it's difficult to record a, a talk show. You have to have guests. Who the hell could have been? 